So these are just some of the examples of, of the things that we managed to document within your, your community. And that is the bedroom 
which led to us saying, what is it that we can do as a church to ensure that what we intervene in with the community, we can collectively what come up with solutions that are sustainable to ensure that we take care of our environment, not only for us, but also for future generations. So the background of the project is simply what we have been given an instruction to ensure that we treat the earth as though our life depends on it. Do you know why? Because our life does depend on it. I need to. So it's it's for us and also for our future generations. Now for them, we are saying what is going as a community, we are aware of what is going There are certain things that need to be done. We can't run away from mining. Why? Because we understand what is going It's important for its development to take place. Economically, we are benefiting from the mining that is taking place. So how do we reach a balance? How do we strike a balance to say, in terms of extracting resources, it, we do it in such a way that doesn't harm the environment. If we are to harm the environment, what mechanisms can we put in place to ensure which we rehabilitate what that land or that environment that is <coughs> that has been disturbed? And so it's against this background that we are coming in with this project, which we have called uh, communities for environmental action. So a project here today is going to take place over a period of one year. And it, like all reference by that our director has indicated, this is a pilot project. So we'll do it over a period of one year, and it's going to take place under other areas like Chief Wangi, your Chief Nekatan.